Hello everyone, today I am going to discuss chemical reactions. Before I start discussing this topic, let's begin with an experiment. If you want to try this experiment, please get ready with a plate, milk, three to four colorings, cotton swabs and detergent. Firstly, we're going to pour your milk into the plate. Then add a few drops of colorings. You'll see that as I pour these colorings in, they don't actually move. Now, if we fill our cotton swab with detergent, which is in this bowl here, and dip the, dip the cotton swab into the milk, the colorings will actually move. Carefully observe the chemical reactions happening in the plate. To understand chemical reactions, let's begin with the definition of atoms and molecules. On my left, these are individual atoms. Atoms make up everything in the universe, and each atom has its own element. Whereas, on my right, these are a configuration of molecules with different elements of a solid soap. For a soap molecule, there are two sections. This one is hydrophilic, the section which likes to be in the water. And this section is hydrophobic, the end which doesn't like water but attaches easily to oil or grease. The atoms in these sections create varying surface structures, which results in their being either hydrophilic or hydrophobic. As I mentioned, today we are going to discuss chemical reactions. Soap or detergent has a molecular structure. Soap molecules are composed of long chains of carbon, oxygen, sodium, and hydrogen atoms. At this section of the chain is a combination of molecules, which likes to be in the water, which is hydrophilic. The other section doesn't like the water, which is hydrophobic, but attaches easily to oil or grease. Next, this picture demonstrates when we dip the cotton swab with soap into the milk. As we know, apart from the water as represented with blue dots, Milk consists of fat and oil, which is illustrated with the bigger yellow dots. Meanwhile, the dot with a stick refers to the cotton swab and pink bar represents to the colorings used. In this slide, we will observe the chemical reaction happening when we dip soap into milk. The hydrophilic section of the soap molecules is attracted to the water atoms and the hydrophobic section is attracted to the fat and oil. This has caused a lot of chemical reactions, which has resulted in the swelling of the colors in the milk. As we all know, if you only use water to wash a greasy plate, the plate will stay oily. However, with a magic drop of liquid soap on your sponge, you can get rid of the grease easily, thanks to the chemical reaction, which helps us break down the oil on the plate. So next time, when you have a dirty and oily face, don't worry, I am sure you know what to do. Food scientists use the chemical reaction to give food different tastes, color and aroma. Forensic scientists rely on four main chemicals to reveal and collect fingerprints. For example, iodine, cyanoacrylate, silver nitrate, and ninhydrin, these chemicals react with oil or sweat to change the color of fingerprints so that they can be seen better. Pharmacologists need to understand how chemical molecules interact with our body when we take a pill or an injection. Petroleum chemists specializes in re researching the molecular properties of oil to improve processes for oil refining, a petrochemical processing that saves energy and reduces pollution. Thank you for watching. Please support our channel by clicking the subscribe button.